welcome back to my channel today i am doing favorites and fails and so so products <laughs> so if you're interested just keep on watching so i'm gonna get started on butter bronzer i like this so much it's this bronzer um it just says bronzer right here if you can see that I don't know but it's really good it still smells like coconut which I really like and it's really nice creamy um texture it's very nice light I like light on my skin and this is what I've been using a lot I don't have it on today but I like how light it is on my face. Very nice. So this is like my top favorites right here. Because <laughs> I just like everything about that. And it's really light on my skin. Okay, what I've been using on top of the YB, IBY. I've been using these two sometimes together. Or if I feel like a pink. Or like... A rose gold I really do enjoy these so this one is my second one in this favorite so right here it just has like that pink highlight and I really like colorful highlights this is a baked so I'm just like trying to hit pan on it in my own little hit pan without you know filming it and then my next one is the luna by luna highlighter and i got these two from ipsy so i really do enjoy these formulas and it's very pigmented and again baked um products are really good i have been liking this cream blush and usually i don't go towards cream anything but this flower beauty Cream blush is really nice, and I have a pretty good dip um, in it because it's in my project pan. But, you know, it's very pigmented, but I use like a dot on each side, and then I blend that in very good until like it's really light. So it's not like I'm a clown <laughs> looking. Um, but I really like light products on the cheeks and then a really good highlight. So I really like this a lot, surprisingly, because it scared me because of the color. It's really bright. And I was like, oh no, was like going to be too much. But once you blend in a cream product, it blends in pretty good. I really do enjoy that. So I highly recommend it. I got this for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I was really excited to play with this product out. And it's really pigmented. Until you blend it out. Then you get like a pretty good sheer pink look. Um, So Hourglass. I'm really enjoying this Hourglass. I got this from BoxyCharm. Which was really awesome. Because I would not pay 30 bucks for this. And it is very pretty, very gold, um, very nice. Just like a little touch of it goes a long way. It very gives out very good pigmentation. Just hourglass is pretty good. I love their mascaras, which I wish I had, but I would not pay full price for any hourglass products. It's really good, very shimmery. It's like butter texture. I love it. So that is like a very good favorite <laughs> in my opinion. So the NARS, I really like. Um, I love the wands. Very nice. Working on it. <laughs> but I'm really do enjoying this um mascara and just nothing much to say about it because i do mix it in with others so i really do like that one and i do love this foundation the fit me 
foundation. I don't know if they still sell this anymore because I haven't bought a foundation at Walmart in a very long time. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, this is the matte, poreless matte, and I really like this. I love the dewy one. And this is the shade. I really do like it. Um, I have it on right now, and I like it more than the other one I'm going to talk about. <laughs> But I, I like to wear this when I'm going out, when I know I'm going out, um, because I like to save things when I'm going out. <laughs> so I get to use my products, like, different ways. I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> and this, um, Too Faced concealer I'm really loving. Um, I wore this twice now, and it does not crease like others, like the Shape Tape by Tarte I it creases on me but this does not even though it matches my skin tone very good I wish it was a little lighter but you know you can mix up any like any products really to make this lighter so that's what I'm gonna have to do with this but it does not crease that's the important um thing about me because I do crease up you know I you know, all the wrinkles yes <laughs> so I really do enjoy this so those are my favorites um uh, my so so products my first so so product I took like a month off of using this I haven't used this for a month because the bronzer shows on red on my skin and they're very, very creamy. It has like a red brick tone color towards the shade and it was like very red on my skin. So I stopped using this altogether. So I'm, I'm probably not going to use the bronzer when I do pick this up. I'm probably going to mainly use the highlight and the blush because where is the highlight right here? These two, um, these two are good. I really do enjoy that. So I'm probably not going to use the middle one much longer because I don't like how red it shows. Like that's really too red for me. But these two are pretty. I really do enjoy those two. So I might dig up dig up this again. Um in the future. Just lay off on the bronzer part. Even though it says eye, lip, and cheek, I just use it as a cheek product but not going to use it as a bronzer. Yeah. <laughs> um, this contour stick by Bella Pierre. Got this like in a random box that I purchased. Um, mainly for the bronzer part. Again, I use this for like a contour on my nose and it just made my nose really dark. And yes, you can blend these in. But with my, like, light, pale skin, it just made, you know, my skin a little too red. So I'm probably not going to use this side, but I might use this side, even though it is very highlighty. It's like, wow. So it's really good. These are really good cream products. I might just use the highlight on that. That's why it's so so because half <laughs> I'll use and half I won't. Same with the Laura Geller cheek pot palette. <laughs> and the IVY highlighter. I want to get through this. Um, that's what it looks like right now. Um, it's just too sparkly for my taste. When once you put it on the you know your cheeks and you spread it out. Um, the sparkles are like a little too sparkly for me, but 
when you swatch it, it's pretty. But, yeah. <laughs> it's a so so product. I can't wait for, you know, to have parent on it. I do like the color and the packaging is cute. But I do mix it up with these two highlighters that I like more. So that's what I'm wearing today is all three of them. And that's why I like to mix it. So I will use this up. Just have to mix and play with it a little bit. Benefit Mascara, this little guy right here. I don't like the wand. I don't like how it's um like a plastic. What is that called? <laughs> this kind of wand I do not like. The formula is probably good because it does help with the NARS mascara. And it gives me like length and volume. So I like that. But it's just the wand that I hate. So that's why it's a so-so product. Um, billion dollar brow. I don't, I don't like how thick this is. It's like a triangle. Don't care for it. Can't wait to use this up though. <laughs> trying to use it up and it has a spoolie at the end. So trying to use it up. Um, I have it on today. It looks good for my brows, but can't wait to get it over with. It's okay product. I just don't like how big the um, product is. That's about it. It's in chocolate. <laughs> um, so not my favorites anymore. Um, so I can't wait to get this out. I mixed the MAC and Rimmel London with the Becca powder and I can't wait to finish this up. I have quite a few products in this container. I just, I'm not gonna repurchase this at all because I feel like it's cakey on my skin. So I've been using very light to none powder on my face. So I can't wait to get this done. I have, I'm like pretty close to getting it done. It's lower than this line here. So I'm just like using little bit at a time now because I know I'm not gonna repurchase any powder foundations, any hydro mist foundations, none of that because it's just too cakey on my skin. Unless I like buy like a cheaper brand for you know two dollars <laughs> like the Rumble London that I got um because I I'll slowly use it I'm not gonna cake it on because <laughs> now I know how to like lightly dip it in and then <laughs> I use this big brush and I just like tap it like that I know that's like too big of a brush, but you know, it's not my favorite anymore. I'm just over it. <laughs> Pretty vulgar um, uh, bronzer. This is in bronze B. I have not used it and I used it like once, not too long ago. And it just showed up red too dark for my skin tone it, and like to me on my face it turns like red <laughs> color but it's a little too dark and I'm like no <laughs> I've tried it I keep trying and I just don't like the darkness I like light to none showing on my face I don't know why I think like the lightest and I put some on today. I'm using one from BoxyCharm that I got way long ago and it looks like I'm wearing none. But I do like the blush that I put on over the cream blush. Um, okay, the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and Flipper. 
these this is already dried out and i think i got this i think two years ago now <laughs> um it is like gross i don't like it i have four three other ones i think yeah three other ones and i'm scared to even open them but i'm using this right now it's beautiful yes it like you have to work with it though so that's why I will not repurchase any of these Super Shock Shadows because I hear people complaining that these dry out fast. And it's beautiful. I love the color, but it's a little chalky. So yeah, I, I won't repurchase any of the Super Shock Shadows. I will try to use them up, but... It's pretty once you like blend it into your skin, you just got to work with it. And I got like the Jelly Much shadow and that dried out like in months. And this shade stays on, which is good. Should be in a social so, so product, but I just don't gravitate in wearing these. I have to put it probably in the project pan which I'm not wearing it today. It looks like I do, but I'm not. <laughs> um, and this I got in BoxyCharm, the Tristique Concealer in Porcelain. I'm trying to work with this, but that's what I have on. Or I don't have it on, but um, yeah. It goes on good, but where is it you know you blend it in and it blends into nothing so i, I kind of use it for like my brows like if i have like powder on my brows that looks a little funky i use this to clean that up but that's about it i've been using that for and it has this which i don't think this works as much it's like like an oops, like, oops. And then I gotta wipe it away, you know? Um, just, well, I, <laughs> this product is a no. So yeah, that is like down the list of no's. That is all for my favorites and fa fails in so-so products that are like half good and half not. <laughs> um, so yeah that is it if you're wondering what i've been wearing and trying out for the begin the beginning of this year that's all the products i've been trying out most of the products actually <laughs> most i would say the products that i've been trying out and using so thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment to my channel bye for now i totally skipped one of the products. It was right under the Maybelline foundation. This is the Rummel, Rummel foundation um, in my face. I do like this on days I'm not going anywhere. It's very light with my skin tone. It, it looks like I'm not wearing any foundation, which is good, but it kind of blurs out, you know, my imperfections. Like this, um, whatever this is i thought it was like a cluster of breakout right here but i don't know what it is i turned 21 and this appeared <laughs> whatever this is it's not a sunspot i don't i don't go in the sun but i'm trying to figure out what the heck this is it is bumpy like it is it feels like a cluster of breakouts right here but I don't know, it's not going away. So I'm trying to figure out what foundation <laughs> is working for me, but this is really light. It does not cover up what this is. But yeah, this is pretty good if you are not really into foundations, but like kind of a nude foundation, I would say that this is a pretty good. Um, but my mo my other favorite is this mostly because I'm starting to like matte foundations more than you know, especially 
the ones that look like you're not wearing any. Um, and I, I kind of like the dewy. I'm pulling back from the dewy foundations. I've been really liking the matte lately. So, you know, with years gone by and months and then you figure out what is your favorite and what's not your favorite. <laughs> I'm kind of like pulling into different directions on what I like and what I have been like distance from. So it's pretty cool. You can like, um, like this, I've been wearing this every day and I took a month off and then I'm like, I don't even miss it. I don't, you know, I liked it for like a really long time since I've got it and I'm just like, I pulled back from it and I don't even miss it and yeah with this product the Laura Geller cheek product I'm good <laughs> but yeah thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment to my channel bye for now